Hi, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. It is Wednesday the 11th. I almost forgot what it is. Thank goodness they have the day and time on the computer. Oh, yeah. Um, I do not have a second face cam. I just have it on the same tripod. I'm going to change the camera angle later, but... Ooh, face reveal. I think it's the funniest meme because I know I personally used to be so scared of, like, taking pictures. Like, I hated when other people took pictures of me. So it's really funny that I'm trying to do online content now. Um, but yeah, I've shown my face to the places. I just wanted to bait a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, today, um, yesterday we finished the primary... Um, shape or er, painting, so I want to go ahead and start a new series today. I want to definitely try and keep using the acrylic paint pens. So I have an idea of a design I want to do. So yeah, I can go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle now. Yeah, and I have these little Pokemon plushies back here. I actually got these in Japan. A year and a half ago. I really wanted to go to the Pokemon store, but we didn't have time to, so unfortunately I couldn't get like the legit ones. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started. For this one, I kind of want to do, still do an abstract, but kind of do waves, and then a circle pattern overlapping. So right now I'm just making a border around. I would tape. I still have an indifferent opinion about tape, because like, I understand it's to help you like go, avoid going over the border. But then, a lot of times, the paint or the ink still links to the tape. So it's like, what's the point? Like, I've tried to use tape and I've had it so many times, like, pool over the edge. And, like, get into where it wasn't supposed to be. Like, if I put tape here, it would, like, pool in the actual working plane. Very frustrating. Okay, we got a border down now. The idea I was thinking about doing, or the concept, is doing like, kind of waves, and then put circles scattered throughout, and then have like, the pattern change inside the circle, basically. So I was doing tests with the acrylics earlier, and they are fairly opaque. But you can see the pencil still shows kind of through the ink, so I will need to press lightly. This is the palette I want to be working with today. It has the white, uh, kind of peachy tan, uh, more yellow tan, an orange and a pink. So that's the palette I'll be working with today.
Okay, so right now... It's not showing up well, but I did. Scattered circle, kind of centralized. Yeah, the main difference I'm seeing between the ultra fine and the regular uh, medium tip is that the medium point, the paint seems to be a bit more clumpy than the extra fine points. I love how opaque this shows up on camera. It's so satisfying to me. Because I mostly have been using tone bows as of recent. And those are um, water-based brush pens. And those aren't fully opaque. So you can easily tell where the strokes are. But look at that solid fill. 
looks so pretty.
Oh my god. <laughs> I grabbed the pen by the cap by accident. And I thought I scared myself. I thought it dropped the whole pen in my lap. But I just grabbed the cap. Okay, all's good. Yeah, the only thing I'm not really liking with these paint pens is that it's really clumpy. But I assume because it dispenses into the tip, right? So if you don't use it right away, it will dry up.
Really liking how the white circles just look on their own. Question of the day before I forget. Best fast food breakfast? Um, I think my favorite, like, always go to has got to be like Jack and Box. I know the food is kind of like mid tier, but I love how they have breakfast all day. You know, when I was little, my favorite thing to get would always be the breakfast jack. But Wendy's breakfast is pretty good. Like, the honey butter is pretty bomb. I tried Panera bread for the first time a couple weeks ago, and my god, bread was so good. I was low-key kind of mad because that would be like five, six years ago at this point. But we used to have a Krispy Kreme Donuts up by our mall. But then they replaced it with a uh, Panera. And I was upset because, like, the closest Krispy Kreme now is, like, in the next two towns over. So it's like, frick. What are we going to do now? But not mad anymore because Panera was pretty damn good. <laughs> Yeah, this orange is definitely not dispensing as well as the other ones. Oh, frick! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, it just... It tells you on the box, do not dispense on your piece. Do it on, like, a side paper. Dummy me forgot. Did not realize that it would dispense that fast. Or maybe I'm just too strong. We don't know. Oh my gosh, that is so. It's so. See that glo that glisten. That's how wet that spot is right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wonder if it bleeds through the paper. Oh wow, it doesn't. It doesn't bleed through. It's cool. I kind of like how there is this like centralized line or path through the center. That way the lighter hues in the center and then dark to light. To give it a more, I guess, natural gradient, gradient concerning, concerning hues and tone.
Oh, I thought I grabbed the wrong pink for a second. Had a mini heart attack. Yeah, the orange is not liking me today. I kind of, I think I might want to fill in the center white line, and then do like white accents instead of having that white line. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to go ahead, put a little bit of pen ASMR dudes. 
I'll go ahead and fill this in. Even though the slight beige is going to be pretty dominant in the center. Oh no! I clipped my fingers. Okay, that's filled in now. No, oh, sorry, did me the clip. I don't know about you guys, but I let I work like two inches away from my view. You can't see it from my this angle, but my my face is like right here, right where the edge of the angle is. God, gotta be right up on my paper.
Okay, so I got base colors down. Now, the concept I had in mind for the circles is to have the line continue through, but then do it in, like, an opposite color. So, like, since this has the pink, orange, tan, I would do, like, the beige. So, kind of, like, translate the patterns down one or two. Okay, I'm going to pause the music real quick. Okay. It was the song that had the scratchiness. Oh my god, that was... <sighs> that... I did not like that. Because I... I get so anxious thinking about... Like, something messing up techno... Techno... Tech technology wise oh my gosh that was like a panic attack waiting to happen yeah i think it was the song because i don't hear it anymore crisis averted oh yeah Yeah, right now I'm going in with the extra fine tip, that way I can get a bit more precise edges.
<laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Pressing down with these pens kind of reminds me of like the old school like bingo daughters. When I was little, my mom bought a bunch of them from like the Bayou Village. And we just use them for like art stuff.
Okay. So as I said before, I want to have like the opposite color. So I'll see how I did the light beige or the light tan. And then the opposite brightest color would be the bright pink. So next I'm going to do the bright orange here. Going in again with the extra fine tip. Clipped. Always forget. Oh, uh, hey! Hello, Anna. Yana, Anna. Doing good. Thanks for popping in. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to you yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, because, like, I only recently got into Twitch. Maybe end of 2020. It's so, like November, December ish. And, like, I think it's so fun to go into, like, random streams and chat especially smaller ones because like there's not a lot of engagement right um so yeah it's fun just to talk to people also like i really like attention so that one-on-one -on -one engagement is really fun to me because i'm an attention whore um so yeah hope you're doing well man It's probably going to be pretty chill today. Started this piece earlier. Because I wanted to try out these new ink pens that I got. Ah, thank you. Uh, no problem. I'm doing good. Thank you. Just woke up. Love this piece. Colors are so nice. Thank you. Um, I was playing around with different, like, color palettes earlier. Like, this is a swatch I did. There's white right here, but you can't see it. Colors are a bit different because I have a filter on. Um, everything is a bit more muted on my end because I have the pro filter right now. Um, and your ambient music. Oh my god. I love ambient music. Yeah. Um, right now I use, I paid for some royalty free music. It's from Soundstripe. It's really cool because they have a Twitch extension that you can link to your Twitch account. Because honestly, I'm so scared about like DMCA and stuff. So I was like, you know, I don't mind 20, paying 20 bucks a month to like not get sued, you know? Spend 20 bucks a month or lose all my money, so win-win. Yeah, just a heads up, I'm pretty quiet. Like, I'm. St this is my um, second week streaming, so I'm still getting used to just talking or being on camera in general, so bear with me. But I very much like, I'll talk if I'm talked to, you know? Definitely like IRL, the quiet kid. I was annoyed because I was thinking about like this pattern last night in bed, or, like what to do for today. And I was getting ready for today, and I had a different pattern in mind. Because usually I'll do like a thumbnail sketch whenever I think of a pattern. That way I don't forget. Like, I was eating breakfast in bed. And then I thought of something. I was, oh, this seems like a really good concept. And then I didn't draw it. And I, I I cannot remember it for the life of me right now. Loki's so pissed. Not that it was anything, like, um, revolutionary. But I felt like it was a really good idea. Because I kind of like the look 
of um, alternating sections. So kind of like checkerboard. How every opposite square is filled in with black. That kind of look. That's one of my personal favorite patterns. Right now I'm just touching up these pink sections because this marker... I just got these. Uh, um, I do be your grand not jotting down ideas too, yeah. I... A bit ago, when I did try journaling, um, I would write down ideas or draw thumbnails all the time. But sometimes just the effort of getting up, opening the book, getting your utensils... Seems to be like a bit much for me sometimes. I don't know. Just lazy. <laughs> lazy or depressed. I don't know. Um. Yeah, but I just got these pens a week ago. And this is my first time opening these. And I haven't worked with paint pens. The only time I really used them was in school. And I was the art teacher's favorite. So he let me use the good shit. I mean stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so I didn't really get to use the paint pens, but they're really nice. Uh, literally same. And by the way, best fast food breakfast is Farmer Boys. Um, <laughs> is that like uh, a uh, high tier fast food? Because I've never heard of it. Farmer Boys? I think that was the name of like a pop-up like produce stand in my town. So... I don't know what chain that is. Is that like a local one or in your state? Like I'm in Washington. Like I know California has like Shake Shack, I think it is. I don't know. W Wendy's is mine. Like when they launched their breakfast, my god, the honey butter. A tier, A tier. I don't know. I think it's just a California thing. I'm not sure if they're in other places. Oh, I probably gotta look that up. Like, what do they have for breakfast? Is it just, like, sandwiches? Or, like... I'm a sucker for biscuits and gravy. Because, like, my mom, she hates... She hates um, gravy, so she doesn't make it often. So I didn't, like, grow up eating it. So if ever I get breakfast at, like, a diner or something, I will always try their biscuits and gravy. Like, there's this one diner in my downtown. And their sausage gravy is so good. So good. Oh my god. <laughs> I- This stroke- See how like, the implied line would be like here? I thought it was up here. Oh dude. I'm not focusing right now. I've noticed when I get too cocky, like my strokes will be a bit less controlled. Uh, sandwiches and the OG eggs, bacon sausage, and pancakes. Oh, pretty standard. Pretty standard. I got like takeout from a diner from the next center over, and they had, um, Salmon fish cakes. This is mid. It's all right. I mean, like anytime you get like delivery or takeout, it's it's gotta be sitting for like at least an hour before like the driver or delivery man gets there. So it's gotta be sitting for like a solid hour and a half before you get it. <laughs> Most or mainly in my area, cause like anytime I try and get like um, DoorDash or delivery, cause there's so few drivers right now, cause you know living wages are not. It's, you, you cannot live off of just doing delivery. Like, the delivery times are insane right now. Like, I would do, like, third-party delivery, but I don't have a license. So, can't really. I'm 22 and can't drive. Big sad. Like, all the kids... Like, when they're in high school, 
Like, their parents could afford to, like, for their kids to take driver's ed. But, like, we were hella poor. Like, you know how they had, like, food drives in elementary? Where they're like, ooh, donate cans and flour so you can feed your community. My family probably qualified for that stuff. Like, we were... But, like, it's funny, because, like, we couldn't... We probably made not enough to... Or we were probably poor enough to qualify for food stamps. But, like, as a pride thing, my mom refused to get any kind of aid like that. It's my dad. He's a retired uh, Navy veteran, so he gets, like, a $100 check every month from the VA. So that would be our grocery money. When we're a little... Right now, we're a little better off. Like, we're not starving. But... I feel that. I was getting the free lunches, dude. Free lunch all the way. I don't know if your school offered it, but when I was, because I, I live in Washington, right? And I went to school in Hawaii for a couple of months because I we lived with my grandma for a little while. And that was fourth grade. So, like, right when, like, puberty hits, right? So, right when you're, like, big. <laughs> and, um, I, I used to be so freaking skinny. Like, right now I'm obese, but that's fine. Uh, so, like, in fourth grade, one of my new friends, because I was new kinder, right? I was only there for a little bit, she's like, hey. And she was, like, bigger, which is fine. But she's like, hey, you can go get seconds, you know? And I was like, what? So, like, every day, I'd be getting, like, free lunches and then seconds, right? But I did not know that the seconds you had to pay for. <laughs> so, <laughs> after two months, my mom was like, hey, why do I owe the school 50 bucks? So I was like, I don't know. Lunches are free. And she's like, are you getting seconds? So I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, that that's it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, school lunches were pretty good. Everyone memes about, like, the cardboard pizza, but, like, I thought it was pretty good. I know in my junior and high school, they had, like, the free lunch section, and then, like, the a la carte fancy stuff. So they have, like, chicken tandies, and they, they had, like, frozen yogurt. Did. S tier. <laughs> when it's the best thing on the menu, cardboard pizza smacked. Yeah. I think my favorite thing from, like, Oh, the free lunch had to be like the mystery item like the thing that changed every day like i always loved the mashed potatoes and gravy but when i was in hawaii this had to be i'm doing the math i'm doing the math see i'm 22 <laughs> 10 oh my god 10 years ago sheesh um at the time because there, there was less regulation then so like the cafeteria ladies could, like, make their own, like, homemade recipes as long as they provided, like, an ingredients list for the parents to look at after they served it. So, like, they'd be making kulu a big... Oh, no. Sorry, it smeared a lot. Like, their homemade, like, rib recipes. Dude, so good. It's probably not allowed now, though. Unfortunately, because, you know... I mean, it's probably a liability thing, honestly. And making things in larger batches is harder to do with, like, homestyle recipes. Like, margin of error is probably higher. The only thing I'm not liking... I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Oh, it for sure shows up. See how, like... The ultra fine is a little bit darker than the medium tip. It's gonna bother me. Somewhere I'm just gonna have to cover up as much as I can. Because these pans are fairly opaque. But you have to go over with a couple layers if you want to completely cover something.
Yeah, because they got the same brand pens, so colors should be fairly similar. Okay, that looks a lot better that I went over it a second time. Okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> I bet what I could do too is put like dispense this larger pen into a palette and get a brush to go over maybe, but that seems like a bit much. It's like a bit much. Look at all these dots along the border. That looks so bad. Oh, I hate that. I would put tape, but tape is. I could have put tape. Because, like, I have a paper underneath that I could be doing this on. Next time, next time. I'm not a pro artist yet, so. Can we make mistakes like that? Uh, I need you to put to put you on my auto host list. Not many people know I stream at this time. Oh, okay. Cool, I appreciate that, man. Like I said, I'm new to to streaming, so I don't know the... the... What's this called? Protocol. But thanks, man. Uh, I'll put you on my list too, man. You seem really chill and cool. Um, I think they look cool, like little colored comments. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Like I was saying earlier, these pens remind me of like the old school bingo daughters. I don't know if you ever used them. But kind of like just pressing down and like oh, making dots. Cause like the idea I had for like this underneath paper, cause I use it for scrap underneath. That way I don't mark up my my table. Right now, my setup I have my desk and then a binder. That way I get an angle slope. Cause you know when you work on a flat surface, like if I work like this, right, my angle is gonna be different. Cause I'm looking at it. If you work on a sl slanted desk, your, your angles will look better. Cause it messes up your perspective, especially when you're working. It's like porch at work. Or perspective. Yeah, oh, and I clipped, I clipped. The idea I had for the scrap paper was to cut it up and then use it as a base for sketch cards. Just as like a background accent piece. Because I want to get into collage work. But with collage, you have to be... You have to have a pretty good knowledge about composition. Because I'll see collage work and it looks bad. Looks bad. Because you have to think about... You can't just put stuff on a paper oof, and expect it to look good, you know? You have to have a basic understanding of placement. This one dispense a lot by accident. You can see... See how glossy that is? Oh, yeah, it's not showing. But this one, this one right here, really glossy. Dispense a lot of paint by accident. And you'll see that I will typically rotate my paper rather than trying to twist my wrist around. That way you get a lot more natural movement when you move.
Um, because like you, I'll see like time lapse videos, and it'll have the, the piece being stationary. And it's like I can't picture myself doing that. It's so hard to work when you're moving or manipulating your wrist too much. For sure, we'll get carpal tunnel at some point. I draw on a flat surface all the time, but it's because I just prefer it. Yeah, I guess. Um, cause I've always wanted one of the, uh, you know, the tilted drafting tables, but those are hell expensive. You could probably get a cheapy one off of like IKEA or something, but I just don't have the space right now. So I started using a binder probably two years ago at this point, and like I cannot draw on a flat surface anymore. Like I just can't. I know in school. I was- oh frick, I clipped my camera. Oops. Um, in school, <laughs> I was such a weirdo, dude. Like, I would carry my binder. Because in school, they make you buy, like, the three inches, and, like, that wouldn't fit in my bag. Um. So, like, I'd always be, like, drawing on top of my binder in school. I know for sure schools can't afford no fancy debts. I was always jealous because you know when, when you watch movies and they have like the single person desks? I never had that in school. Um, our school had tables so you'd have two kids per table. Which I kind of like because the only classroom that had the single person desks I think was like the art class and then the band room. And it was so uncomfortable to sit in. It's funny because like I'll talk about school a lot, but I haven't been to school since high school. So right now I'm doing online university, so I don't have a physical campus to go to. I honestly wish I enrolled in a physical school, physical school. That way you can get like that personal engagement. Oh, but then sometimes I'm like, I kind of like not seeing people every day, you know. Especially now. I don't want to be going out all the time. Grab the wrong pen. Thank goodness I did not draw with it. That would have been bad. I wish I could sing on here, I mean. Like, I've thought about doing singing streams, but then it's like, you technically can't be sued. Because I, I was reading off and on the Twitch guidelines, and it said live performances are okay, but just be careful. And I was like, okay, so you can still sing, not like die. But, yeah, so maybe if there's enough people that want it. Because I have an idea. Of like a game thing to do with me that's music related. Uh, 
Um, BRB mate, gonna make myself some breakfast. Dude, ain't it late for breakfast? It's 11 o'clock. This is on the west coast. Come on, man. It's, it's lunch at this point, dude. <laughs> don't mean to roast you, don't mean to roast you. Like, I used to be able to sleep in hella late. But now, like, on the dot, I'll wake up uh, at, like, 6. And then get up, up at 7 and go for a bike ride. But then, I can't go to sleep till like, 1 o'clock. So I only get, like, 5 hours of sleep every night. So I'm borderline insomniac. Um. But yeah. Oh, you want here judging me? I'm a night owl. <laughs> yeah? I, I have the right to judge you, man. Uh, but everyone has their own, like, personal body clock. I get it. Like, there was a point where I worked two jobs. So, like, I had a uh, morning shift, so, like, 7 or 8 till about 2 o'clock. Then I had an evening job, so it'd be from, like, 3 or 4 to, like, 10 to 12, depending on the shift. So, my schedule was messed up, man. Really bad. What you making for breakfast? Some eggs? <laughs> I finally learned how to fry an egg. Because for the longest time, I could only make scrambled eggs. Mainly because I'm so scared of like the oil splashing on me. Like I finally got over that fear recently, so I'm making fried eggs for breakfast now. See, you're thinking about like breakfast, and I'm thinking about lunch right now. I recently started biking again, like a week ago, and then I started uh, intermediate fasting because I stay home all the time. So like I would do nothing and then eat all day. So I gained like 10 pounds <laughs> since I quit my job. Um, so I was like, I need to do something like I don't want to be obese, obese. So my BMI was way too high. Uh, so I started intermediate fasting. So the schedule I'm on right now, if you don't meet and feed it, it's where you only eat for an 8 hour window um, so right now my thing is from 9 to 5 it's like a, a job right? so like I'll have breakfast and then stream then lunch and then homework and then chill oh meal probably eh, oatmeal's kind of mid I've only had a couple good oatmeal like my dad it's so cute. He makes breakfast for my mom every morning. And he'll make her um, an egg and then an oatmeal. And his oatmeal is really good. Like, he puts, like, a dash of vanilla extract and uh, sometimes a little bit of coconut extract. It's really good. It's a treat if he makes it. How do you feel about grits? Grits? The only time I've had grits because my mom hates it, so she don't make anything she don't like. She don't make. So, the only time I've had grits was in junior high uh, home ec class because I took a uh, culinary class. So we'd make food every day. It was it was bomb. It was epic, and it was nice because it was my six periods, so the last class of the day. So I didn't have to like rush to eat it before my next class. Uh, so the one time I made grits, I probably botched mine because it was really like, I like the texture of them personally, but t they tasted so bad because I, th I think my partner ruined it because they were like hella salty. I don't know. My partner was an idiot, but uh, grits are so good. People need to put some respect on grits. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'll join your team if I get to try them again. Deal? Deal. I think that's fair. <clears throat> J 
Okay, I need to touch up this one. Deal, I put jelly in mine. Jelly? <sighs> okay. I, okay, I kind of get it. I, I love saber and sweet combos. So, I get it. I get it. But, like, if I'm getting... If I get hash browns, yeah? Or if I make hash browns... Oh, frick, it's leaking a lot. I will put ketchup. Sometimes syrup. And sometimes jam. Not all on top of each other, but like on different parts of the of the hash brown. Okay, that looks a little better. So I I kinda get the jelly. Is it homemade jelly or is it just like store brand Walmart? Not to be bougie, but like we make our own jam sometimes. Cause like my mom, we have this um we have a lot of plants on our property so she has we have a mini greenhouse in our backyard and then just plants littered all over like our front yard so we make jam like I made some um, cherry amaretto jam a couple weeks ago it was really good we boiled it out so there's no alcohol so the kiddos can still have it but it was really good. The thing I don't like about making jam though is that you gotta like stand and stir it for a solid 30 minutes to an hour. Depending on how long it takes to boil. It took the first batch we made this year because our, our house is old so all the equipment is old as well. It took a solid 40 minutes for the pot to start boiling. I was so pissed dude. But Yeah, but we tried making it in an Instapot, because in an Instapot, you don't have to necessarily do, like, a pressure cooker setting every time. So we stirred in there, and it came out a lot better, so. Nah, store-bought Concord grape. I wish it was homemade, though. You like grape jelly? Ooh. <laughs> grape jelly is kind of mid for me. I don't know, my... My parents never, like, got it from the store when I was little. Like, they'd always get, like, raspberry or strawberry. Because, like, I personally like texture. that have, like, seeds in it. But grape grape and jelly is, like, pretty standard. So, Low-key kind of basic. But. <laughs> uh, yeah, strawberry is bomb, too. Yeah. Can't go wrong with strawberry. Strawberry, anything flavor is pretty good. A, while, a couple of years ago, we went to uh, the H Mart, which is like a Asian store. And they had these like strawberry milk hard candies. Oh, so good. What's really cool is that most uh, Asian candies, like the packaging will have a QR code on the back. So it'll take you to, this, to, the, um, to the brand's website. It's cool because like I could easily find the brand and then I could buy them online. Cool. I kind of like the texture that these pens have. It looks kind of like scratchy almost. I kind of like that texture. It looks a bit rough. I don't know. From a distance, it definitely looks... Oof. Didn't mean to clip. Looks good. I like how... Because I, I have a mirror to the right of me. So I, I, I usually hold up my stuff to see what it looks like from a distance. Because it's like five feet away from me. So I really like how the pink stands a lot in this stands out a lot in the center. Oh, yeah, it looks a little matte. Is it matte? Like yeah, um, these are acrylic paint pens. The if you do the command materials, it'll tell you what brand. But these are Artistro. It's it. It was just the first result I saw on Amazon because I don't know anything about paint pens. Um, but because like it dispenses. The paint through, I don't know if it'll focus, through the tip, right? Because it has like a hole on the end. So when you press down, it'll dispense. So it's straight acrylic paint, basically, but a little bit watered down. So it's a bit thinner. And it does have a pretty good back coverage. 
Yeah. Thing I noticed with the specific brand, the ultra fine tip appears like it's a bit more separated. Like whenever you shake the pen, it doesn't mix as well as the medium tip. That's why it's a bit more of a darker hue when compared to the medium tips. It also could be the type of paper I'm using because I'm just using regular grade cardstock right now. So that could be the issue as well, because different papers will pick up different, will pick up paint differently. Oh, a paint all over my finger. <laughs> Nosy hummingbird was looking through my kitchen window. WTF, dude. I love seeing hummingbirds. Um, they're typically attracted to brighter flowers. So like if you have any bright magentas or bright reds, they will love that. Because like kind of like bugs or bees, those um, colors are a lot more saturated for them. So they'll always gravitate th towards those colors. So if you want them in your yard, definitely plant those uncolored flowers. But have you ever seen a hummingbird like stop flying? Like I saw one land. And it's so weird because, like, you don't see the, the wings, like, <laughs> moving, I guess. Uh, they're so cool. I saw one land on, like, a rose bush a couple weeks ago. And I want to take a picture so bad. But, like, my camera, like, in order for you to, like... Uh, I was out a bit ago, and I wish I brought my, my nice Sony. But I was, like, a foot away from, like, a landed um, dragonfly. And it was so pretty, right? And I was like, ah... Uh, it's a good picture, but I had to get literally within two inches of the dragonfly to be able to pick up detail. Like, I hate how you can't, like, zoom in like a professional camera would with a different lens. But, yeah, okay. So, I said earlier I want to add, once I have the base colors down, like white highlights or patterns within waves yeah I think I have those dragonfly pictures posted on my IG stories I think um like, I have to wait. Anytime I go out, I kind of want to just take my Sony with me. But then I'm like, if it breaks, though, I'd be big sad. <clears throat> yeah, what's really nice about these pens, too, is they're fairly opaque. You can easily go over with a lighter color. It, for the most part, will cover it. Like you can see here. Well, it's not as mixed as it could be. Yeah, right now I'm just thinking about the pattern I could do on the inside. I kind of maybe want to do like circles inside BB.
Or maybe I could do... Like... Oh, I closed the cap. These... These pens are so hard to open. Okay, we good, we good. Like, maybe do an explicit white outline. And then... Do lines to fill in. Maybe that. Yeah, so one thing... That's like a negative about traditional art. Is that there's no undo button. You know, like once it's on the paper... It's there. Jeez, I've been going for an hour thirty. That's insane. Yeah, I'm still thinking. Uh, how long do you usually go for? Um, first week I did sketch cards, so I did about two hours per thing. Cause like sketches, I could do those all day. Cause um, they're basically like doodle cards almost. I can probably grab some real quick. Cause I didn't put them away. So I was gonna take pictures and then post them, but then I was like, I don't want to take pictures. It's boring. Um, let me zoom in. <laughs> I I don't want to show <laughs> my feet. Oh my God, fucking. Frickin' um some wiki feet. Um but my setup is so scuffed right now, like it's in the corner of my room. So I have to like because I have a mini couch. No, never show feet, never. <laughs> I just have to um smartly angle my camera because like I hate socks. I hate socks, so like I'd rather risk than wear socks. But, okay, here are some cards I made. Show and tell time. This one. I'm, I actually- let me zoom back out. I was supposed to mail this out last week, so hopefully I'll do that later today. If you're familiar, these are artist trading cards or ATCs. They're typically on 2.5 by 3.5 inches in length and width. And you trade them with people. It's pretty epic. I have a site that I go to, um, but they're all like old people, <laughs> like actual boomers. They're all like mid middle-aged. <laughs> like there's not a lot of young people on it, but it's so funny. It was really cool because you can see this one's actually green, but the filter makes it look yellow. But it's cool because you get to see other people's art and like tangibly see something that someone made, which I think is really cool. Um, I love socks. I wear into bed. I can't do it. I know scientists say it's good to wear socks to bed, but I'm like, nodded. Uh, those are so cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like getting compliments. Thank you. Um. Oh, yeah. Those sketch cards are really fun to do. Kind of like throwaway almost, because it's a very small working plane, right? Only a couple inches big. Oh, frick, I clipped my light. Um. So, I don't- you don't really have to take them too seriously, like, if you botch it, it's like, oh, okay, I could choose to do another one. So that's kind of what I'll do to, like, sketch up ideas. And if I like the idea on the sketch card, I'll make it bigger, like, something like this size. This is, a uh, A five. Five. Um, seven and a half. I just, I just cut my cardstock into a weird shape. I wasn't going for a specific size. Um, but yeah. I see, my guess is five by seven. I did so close, so close. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like the price is right, but eh, I guess, I guess. I'm still thinking about what highlights I want to add. I think an interesting one would just to be... I'm gonna go in with my pencil. Just a couple. 
of the edges or the implied lines like maybe here here and like then kind of taper it a little bit but i don't want to add too much i try to be barefoot but for bed but i hate how clay my feet feel dude yeah i feel harder with them like i i hate socks like because i used to walk to school so like i didn't have waterproof shoes so like my feet would be soaked so i live in washington so it rains all the time so my feet would be soaked by the time i get to school so i'd have to be if I forgot to bring an extra pair of socks, I'd be in wet socks all day. So I'm just- I'm just traumatized, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm not usually this chatty. Really appreciate that you're here. It, it's really nice to have someone to bounce off of, you know? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, because the white, because the palette I chose, I wanted to choose similar hues, or not hues, but tones, because I didn't want anything to stand out too much. I don't know if I'll get people to taper with this too. Yeah, so I added, ooh, that looks nice on camera, I added... Kind of like an explicit outline, but didn't do a full outline. Ooh, that looks pretty. The wipe is gonna pop so well. Yee. It's gonna look really nice on top of this uh, medium orange. It's gonna look really nice. See how see how that. Ooh, it's good. It's good. Oh, now it's tapering. Maybe it's because I'm doing a downward stroke this time. <sighs> yeah, so see how I'm doing the opposite corners? I think I'll do that. Yeah, it kind of looks like a clam shape almost. Yeah, I don't know how long I'll go for today, because I don't have a lot of homework to do. I usually will go till I get a project done. So we'll see. Yeah, I have to make sure I press hard. 
and not do the strokes too fast. Otherwise, less paint will dispense. It'll be a little less opaque. So this one I have to go over a second time. <laughs> I'm pretty glad you found my stream and that you stream too. I was on social media, but I don't use it for now. A lot of my inspiration coming from there. Yeah, for sure. Like, I will- <laughs> It's bad. I will- Like, first thing I do is, like, check out IG and, like... I love seeing people's different art. My sister, she was really into ceramics when she was in school. I really wanted to get back into it. Um... But I'll just like save posts that I that are like good inspiration. So like once we do have access to like I really want to get a second hand kill, but we don't have the, the a space for it right now. But I would like to get into ceramics again. But it's just nice to see people create. Like just seeing like the passion they have for things. Like sometimes if I watch a movie, especially animated ones, like I'll cry. Because I think about like just all the time and effort that went into making it. Like I <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Um, I cry when I watch Frozen 2. Like, when she sang Into the Unknown, like, I cried. Because, like, just the emotion. Just, to me, I think about, like, the person behind the art, right? So, like, just to think of, like, all the effort and time they put in that to, in that performance. Like, I started crying. Yeah. Um, that information came here. But now I'm getting some for you. Oh, thank you. So sweet and cute, thank you. It, I just like seeing people create. It makes me happy, you know. Um, I guess that's the downside to not being in socials anymore. Yeah, um, I don't have many friends, so like a lot of my feed is just art stuff because I I will just follow art accounts. It's like just to support other people too. I know it's a numbers game for social media, but it's so nice to see people create, you know. Um, I don't see my fave artwork anymore. That's when that's Chad shoot. Uh, yeah. It, it's interesting to see how modern art has evolved in terms of, like, in the Middle Ages, right? The hyper-realism portraits were, like, the in thing, right? They'd pay, like, I don't know the cash equivalent now, but they'd pay lots of money to get those done, right? Um, and now, like, this type of work or abstract or illustration is more valued. I find so interesting, you know, to see how tastes have evolved. I think it's also because just the free market, you have access. A lot of people have access to supplies, access to resources where they can learn on their own. And just the evolution, because I like realism to an extent. Like, yes, very skilled, very good work, but then it's also like, if you, if all you can do is render, then what's your own unique style? You know, that's why, like, I will always gravitate towards more abstract work, or pattern. Because that way you have a very distinct, um, your style will be a lot more distinct. Yeah, because was it being an artist back then like a super rich? Oh yeah, for sure. Like probably because the base of basis of having access access to supplies, and also a lot of things were mass produced, like you know factories. Now the industrial revolution allowed for just greater access for like a normal household to have 
adequate electricity, adequate um, home appliances. And at a time where like people were like throwing their fecal matter onto the street, <laughs> uh, not many people could afford supplies. So it's crazy to think how far society has developed and evolved in the past three to two hundred years. It's insane. Um, I can't spell privilege all. Yeah, dude, I can't spell either. Like, I hated spelling tests. Um, it's still a privilege to some extent, but not as much as back then. I think... I'm indifferent, because to me, art is a skill. So it is something that could be, like, worked on and mastered over time. Like, I do not believe that a child is born with an inherent ability. <laughs> like, there, there's a cream. There's an old Gabe Grunks quote um, where he's like, by my language, I want to keep things PG, but he's like, there's something along the lines of like, you don't come out the pussy, like drawing Picasso or something like that. And it, it was so, it made a lot of sense because you look at like little first graders draw and stuff, it looks like crap, right? But then you look at some more like middle school or high schooler works and it's a lot more developed. But that, to me, that just proves that skill can develop over time, with enough time and dedication. Especially because of digital art. And really, I believe it to some extent. Yeah. Um. I think... Mm, I think my personal definition of privilege is something that's not inherent, right? It's not a right. So, I think everyone has access to supplies. Everyone might not have the time to invest. And there's also some people... Ah! I don't know, it gets, it gets trying to, kind of tricky when you think about it. Too much. It all, I think it depends on, like, your ability to access things. So, like... If I'm able to go to my local library and get books every weekend, because it's a good library, right? Then I have the privilege of having access to adequate resources, right? So, yeah, I guess art is privilege. Art is privilege. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> it does many variables, yeah. It... It's... Uh, I don't know. Because, like, I don't mind talking about heavier stuff. Like, I definitely want to keep things PG, PG-13. Like, this is a Christian chat, no cursing. But, sorry, that that's an inside meme. Team me, my friends. But, like, I don't mind talking about heavy stuff. I just don't want to... I don't want to keep things... Be too personal, you know? <clears throat> but... What was I going to say? I think it's more of a privilege to be able to do, like, art for a living. I think that's what it comes down to. Because, like, medieval times, right? So they had access to supplies. They probably had the money and resources to where they had more time to invest into their skill, right? So they had that privilege of doing it as an occupation or doing commission work, right? right? So to me, that is a privilege. Although there was some work and time to earn that privilege, I think it's still... In that aspect is a privilege. So to me, art supplies, art resources to learn is very accessible. But to be able to have the luck, the time, the the networking to be able to do it for a living is a privilege. I think okay, I think that's that's the final take. Final take. Uh, no problem understood. Thanks, man. Like, don't be afraid to ask me deep stuff. Like, I don't mind. Like fairly leftist me, but I don't mind talking about stuff. Cause I think talking about issues or current events is very important because the more you don't talk about things the more um misinformation is spread the more <sighs> i can't find the words but anyway i don't mind talking about stuff it's just like my line is like no talk about dating that's for me <laughs> even though i'm single that's for me uh no talking about family stuff that, that's that's my two lines for right now it's mainly because, like, I don't want anyone that I know directly to, like, get any hate. 
Not that I have enough influence to do that yet, but like I don't want to be like my mom yelled at me today, and then like people come banging at our door, you know. Like I definitely need to have that divide. Now, another thing I noticed with these pens is that because it dispenses out of the bottom tip, it does have the tendency to splatter if you press too hard or if you hit the hit an angle weird. Like I was working on canvases yesterday, and because canvases are textured, um, it has little grooves in it, right, to hold paint. Um, the the tip kept getting caught, and then it's splatter, and then I get mad. Not audibly, but internally. I'd be screaming. Cause I'd have to go back and cover up any splatters. Cool, so we got all the white highlights added to the circles. I think it'd be interesting to add more white highlights to the waves. I think that would look nice, but I think I kind of want to go over some of these again with white to get it a bit more opaque. Um, do you game it on? I remember you saying <laughs> game gaming is for plus, which that was hilarious. Just curious. Kind of, kind of. I don't play any online games. I, I, okay. I bought PlayStation Online, like PlayStation plus a year uh, literally a year ago um to play with one of my mutual friends and then i played for a day and i was like this is boring it's like i was kind of in the friend group but kind of not you know so like they're memeing and i'm just like i'm there and I mainly because like some games it's too much stimulus for me like i'm low t i'm low key um uh what's this called so processing things is hard for me like i have we have a history of, like, mental illness and, like, autism in our family, so, like, I am probably autistic to some extent. Not formally tested, but, like, anything that has too much stimulation will give me a headache. So, like, any type of shooting game I cannot handle. Um, like, if there's too many noises or too many buttons I have to press, like, I get headaches and migraines. So, like, I usually will just play... I was really into Animal Crossing when it came out. Like, dude, that saved me last year. That saved me. And then I would play it every day, like every day for a solid two hours. And then um, I played Stardew Valley a couple months ago. And I <laughs> I would play it when I get home from work. So I would play from like 10 to like 2 a.m. because I was so addicted, right? I really like RPGs a lot, mainly because they're a bit more artistic and a lot more storytelling. That's my personal preference. Um... I I haven't a I wanna do gaming on here. It's just like I'm not I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. Like because the concept I have is to integrate some art related thing into whatever game I play. Like a couple weeks ago, I made a couple but buttons and pins that are Mario Kart themed. So that way when I play Mario Kart, it's a whole concept leaked, but that'll probably launch in a week or two. It's mainly because I need to figure out my hardware setup because I, I finally got an ethernet cable so my internet is pretty bomb in my room now but my laptop because i stream on my mac my macbook 2017 which kind of sucks because i've had like a new macbook then i could upgrade my ram but i can't on this one so it has a, a limit to how well it can perform so i might i might do gaming just depends on my setup um nice i just got animal crossing like two weeks ago oh dude it's the best. The best. It, it's really chill. The only thing I don't like about it is that it runs in real time. 
Like, I wish there was, like, a time jump function. Which you could do manually, like, changing the system time on your console. But that's cheating. Cheating is for plebs. But... I caught a hammer shark the other day. Oh, dude, the summer arc? Because I played from March when it launched, and then I stopped playing very beginning of March, so I missed, like, the one-year anniversary stuff. But summer is the best season, because that's when you get the coolest bugs, coolest fish. Catching the sharks is, like, so fun, too. You're like, I caught a shark on my fishing rod. Yeah. Summer is best season. Confirmed. Okay, I gotta stop talking. <laughs> Distract me too much. Aw, oh, this, this line's too thick. Yeah. I played in Japanese to practice my horrible reading. Ah. That's cool, though. Like, it's honestly super cool how you're trying to learn a language. That's like... That's epic, dude. Epic. Also, weeb stuff. Weeb shit. <laughs> but... You know, like I said, I want to keep PG-13. Like, I'll, I'll put one bad word for stream. One bad word. I allow myself one bad word. I also think it's funnier to censor. Like, I'll say frick. And, I don't know if you know, but there's, like, that old, like, meme video of, like, the kid. He, he wanted to play Sonic or something. And he's like, what the frick? <laughs> so, what do you say to me? So, whenever I say frick, it makes me laugh so hard. Yeah, I was thinking about which lines to do. Like, maybe do... Like, white lines going from the border. That way the... Center... Is a bit more defined. It's very difficult to think. Or maybe do a similar, like, alternating theme. So, like, since I did this section with white, I would do this section with white lines, too. Let's do that. Let's do that. Kind of tying back into that alternating fill scene. Or concept. Oh, this is gonna be so hard to keep track of. Yeah, so right now, I'm just filling in, like, the opposite section. So see how I filled this one here? I'd fill in this corner. That way a lot of white is centralized in those corner sections.
Yeah, I think another fun thing about doing abstract work is... Like, I usually start off with like a simple concept. And then as I go, think of adding different elements. Doesn't require a lot of planning for me personally. I think that I think will happen with doing primary and art streams is like I'll keep seeing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, that's right. We'll see. I'm also debating if I want to like narrate more. I know when I watch our content, I like to just watch. Because sometimes too much like talking will distract me from the visual aspect of it, you know? But that's also like, I need to consider what other people think. Very critical of myself, so I, I always think about these things all the time. Uh, do what you want to do, I'm relaxing. Cool. Yeah, chill, man. Chill. <laughs> Another thing I need to work on is making sure I'm in frame. Because, like, the way I have my camera angled, I'm just lifting up my binder right now to change the angle. Cause like, I'll be doing stuff down here, but then you can't see it. Like, if I'm right here, in this little frame, then you can see fully focus. I need to work on that. <laughs> oh, look at that focus. Very good. <laughs> you know, I'm debating whether or not... I want to make like short form for like IG or TikTok. So I know it'll probably perform a bit better on those platforms. But then I also have to consider like I need to work in frame, I need to figure out lighting shots, angles, such everything. So that I have more time, I'll probably start investing some effort or more effort into that. I think it's also funny because like a lot of VTubers will do art. It's cute. It's cute, then it's also like... To me it feels a bit more disconnected. But it's mainly because I don't typically consume that type of content. So I don't, I don't understand it completely, I guess. Like I know I personally, I like pe people who talk all the time. If it's not art, if it's not art, like if it's commentary, like they gotta be talking the whole time. Um... And it's probably because, like, you're more will gravitate towards, so, like, the opposite of your demeanor. Like, you know, the whole dynamic where, like, the quiet kid is friends with the class clown, you know? <laughs> I can't stand VTubers. <laughs> but I mean, I don't hate it. I watched one Apex VTuber, but he uses a cat on an anime girl. I get it. Uh... I kind of understand the appeal to VTubing. Like, my sister, I want her to make stuff. Like, I want her to, like, stream ceramic stuff. Because, it, like, it'd be so cool. Because she's, like, actually good and skilled. Um, But she's like, I don't want to show my face. I don't want to have a mic. I want to rename Anonymous. And I was like, what? You want to be, like, corpse husband and have people, like, stalk you? Or, like, try and figure out who you are? Like, I think that's more... That's more scary for me to think about. Than... Like, openly showing my face. Like, bait face reveal. I think that is so funny. It's like, I I show my face on other platforms. I just don't have a face cam for this setup. Because I don't have a second camera. But. Yeah. 
Um, so I, I see the appeal. Like, so I was like, I, I asked my sister. So I was like, if you bought like a VTuber setup, would you use it? She's like, maybe. <laughs> um, but then it's like, to me, like your personality has to shine a lot more if you're gonna use like a VTuber or a no cam setup. You know, that's my take. Okay. So now I have all the white highlights added. Zoom out a little. Oops, wrong way. I zoomed out as much as I can. Oh, that looks nice. That texture looks cool. I usually don't work big with my abstract work. I usually work small. So it's kind of weird seeing this on like a larger scale. Right now I'm thinking if I want to add more white highlights. Because a lot of it is still centralized, right? I'm debating whether or not I want to add like white to the edge. But I think... Because I want the center to stand out, right? And I think like the way the waves came out, it kind of gravitates your eye towards the center, right? Difficulty I find with abstract is if you add too much, you can't go back, you know? But I'll think for a minute. Um, I love the way the corners came out. Like little white walls. Yeah, yeah. It looks cool. It's, it's kind of like plumy. Almost like it kind of opens up. Oh, just check out my nails, dude. I love them. Did it myself. Um. Yeah, right now I'm just thinking. Like, as I said before, I don't plan everything out whenever I do an abstract piece. I'm gonna see what it looks like from a distance. Yeah, from a distance, like, you can't see the white details and that's fine. But still, a lot of the darker colors do pop out a lot more in the center. Because a lot of the center does have the lighter hues and tones and colors. I'm thinking about if I maybe want to add black. I think black would be interesting. Maybe doing black. Kind of like similar concept to these white plumes or lines, but only from the borders. Or maybe not black. Maybe, maybe like a dark red. That way it kind of matches a similar color palette. I'm debating, debating. Bold move, I like your style. E. I usually don't make bold <laughs> decisions. <laughs> um, thinking. That's another thing I like about digital art. I haven't touched digital in ages, but you can try, you can easily try out different variations like concerning color palettes. I can just change the color filter or the color layer or like make a selection and change the color. But this, it's kind of like go for it, you know. Okay, I, oh, I'm still thinking, still thinking. I think, I don't know. Maybe what I could do, because I'm either thinking of doing similar things, so just doing lines. Maybe doing like filling in like parts of the plumes. Like a very let's maybe okay, I think I will try that. I'm gonna grab a black pen. Let me zoom in so no foot reveal. So I, I just put away my black paint pen because I used it yesterday. I'm trying not to use, because I have microns and sharpies, which will add, which will allow for a lot more detail. 
but I'm trying to break away because I've I become way too dependent on explicit outlines and just using pens. I mean, these acrylic paint pens are kind of like baby steps to real painting, right? But BRB, I believe in you. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. TY. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the black. Can do it. Nope. <laughs> I kind of want to stay away from black. I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do it. Hold me to it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find which red I want to use. Because I have a more dull and then a brighter red. So I'm going to swatch these real quick to see what they look like. Because this palette I made for today is a bit more pastel hues and tones. This is a new one. So if y'all ain't never used paint pens, I shouldn't do it over here. Uh, you press down. And then the ink will dispense down the tip. Yeah, see how it was clear before? Now it has ink in it. Or paint. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. This is the brighter red. And this is the bit more dark red. Basically the same. Very similar. I think the brighter red will look nice because it's a little bit more less saturated than the brighter than the duller red, true red, I would say. Yeah, on the box it's red, and then this is camellia red. Ooh, fancy! I think I'm gonna go with the camellia red. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> this is so hard, I don't want to ruin it. No, I said I was going to do red. It's going to do red, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The narcs. No, that's the wrong thing to say. I hear all these like Twitch terms, and then I say them, and I'm like, no, that doesn't fit here. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do similar plumy type lines, but in the opposite sections of the white. Mmm, nice. Ooh, clipped. I kind of want to try and do it from the corners. This still looks kind of feathery almost the way it's filled in.
Oh, I just realized that some of these alternate sections are not going to be two true alternates. Because... Because adding these along the borders will create a bit more of a defined boundary. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, reddish color. Nice. Yeah, I decided to go with the red. I was gonna do black, but I was like, eh. I think the red definitely meshes with the palette a bit more. Oh, it's still in a similar um, color gradient. Analogous colors, if you might. Funny how earlier I said like too much auditory stimulus like messes me up, but I have my ambient music on and then I'm listening to part of the stream in the background. And I'm not like spazzing yet. <laughs> but I think it's the combination of auditory and like physical stimulus. Like I said earlier, like too much game controls, like too complex controls make me freak out. Not freak out, but like they stress me out. Okay, I thought I messed up for a second. Oh my god. Because <laughs> I'm trying to do like alternating plumes with the red accents. Oh, that looks nice from a distance. Like it makes the center look a lot more right. I love how. Okay, th that looks nice. I don't regret. No regrets. That does look nice. Okay. So I have all the red accents added. I can't wait to scan this one. This one is gonna look so nice. Scanned. Maybe I want to try and do the same thing on the opposite ones. That way, it kind of makes an implied like tear shape. I think I'll do that. That way, it kind of adds a bit more darker tones 
to the borders. I'll do that. Yeah, see now the plume shapes almost look like palm leaf kind of shape. Triangular-ish kind of. Yeah, I like how that's looking. I kind of like the movement of these plumes. Oh, they add a bit more curvature. I was gonna say Luke Plain, like, yeah. It's cool. I like combining themes. Like, you know how my overlay, I made it myself pretty simple, but I like the theme of contrasting modern and, like, uh, nature aesthetics. That's why I kind of, I like the wood and the leaf background and then adding the bright, um, pastel -y, almost neon green. I was gonna add or change the color effects to make it look like neon almost, but I think it'd be a bit too much for an overlay. Like, I don't want it to stand out too much. But I like combining the theme of, like, nature and, like, abstract elements. That's my favorite thing. Like, I like going out for walks and seeing, like, plants come up through concrete. I think it's really cool. Like, nature trying to prevail through modern elements, or man-made elements. I'm almost clipped. Oh, clipped. Oh no. Clipped. Okay. Hmm. So I added the opposite red elements. I'm gonna look at it from a distance. See. Yeah, the red definitely adds a lot. It's definitely highlighting the center a lot more. Which is not good art. Having your element in the center of the piece is bad art. At least that's what my professors tell me. But. I kind of like how. Because see how the elements are still centralized, but a lot of the weight is still near the bottom? Because the highest circle is here about an inch from the, the frame, and then here about a half inch from the frame. So this implies that it looks heavier on this bottom end. Hmm. I think I want to add some dots. I think dots would look pretty. So maybe adding dots to the end of the line plumes, maybe? Ooh, ooh. Maybe I do like red dots on the ends of whites and then white on the end of reds. Mm. Maybe, maybe, ooh. Adding some. I, um, I think adding the dark red to the center element. Ooh kind of ruin the centralized element of it. Um, that's exactly where my eyes gravitate. Yeah, I really like having movement in pieces. Like, whenever I will do a piece, I will usually start off with, like, a wavy line. Because, see how the background plumes, right? The tan, beige, orange, pink? They kind of go like this direction, right? So your eyes will follow that implied line. Uh, you'll see it in really good photography where they have a lot of elements. Like, if your subject is looking to the right, you're instinctively will look to the right as well to follow your eyes along the composition. That's, I, th I think, my favorite element of art. Just using implied lines and then direction in a piece. That's my favorite element. Uh, composition is like magic to me sometimes. Yeah, it's cool. It, everything in art should be intentional. 
Like you should like that's why like I'm contemplating so much on like the little decisions I'm using with this specific piece today. Even though it's not like a final one, I don't want it to be throwaway. Like I want to do every stroke, every line with intent. Um, to me, that's how you can tell bad art from good art. Like everything has a reason. There's a reason why you use a specific color. There's a reason why you use a specific stroke or an element. To me, that shows a lot of care and dedication in your work. Like everything has to be done with intent. That's my biggest grip. That's why, like, I I sometimes will hate modern art, where, um, you you know when you see like pieces with just art like paint splatters, like those like piss me off low key. Because like yes, you have an element of control of like what colors you use and like the directions the splatters will land, but there's there's a lack of control in that aspect. Um, when you're just splattering paint on a canvas. It looks cool. Kind of. But to me... It's not as good an art. As like a, a landscape painting, for example. I do not appreciate... Art that doesn't have a lot of intent behind it. Hot take, but to me... That hot take has... At least a justifying meaning behind it. Um... Uh, Composition looks like magic to me, and a form of hypnotization. Yeah, I really like um, like illusion type abstract work. Um, the type of work where I really like pieces where they use like either pointillism or like cross hatching, because a lot of times you have a lot of developed grays, not all the whites or blacks. Because like just using like cross hatching does imply movement as well sometimes. Oh, I grabbed the black by accident, not using that. Yeah, I think I will add some dots. Dots would look nice. Now, the only thing with this paint pen, the issue with doing dots, you gotta be careful. It dispenses a lot sometimes. Do it closer so y'all can see. Where is it? There. A little bit. That way it'll kind of, from a distance, give it a more tapered look. Dude, I wish I could sing. Because usually when I work by myself, I'll sing to myself. Because I just find it comforting to hear my own, not my normal voice, but my singing voice. I really like how it sounds. In school, like during passing periods, I'd, I'd sing to myself. And I didn't really care if people like gave me weird looks. I think I sounded, I sounded I. I think my singing voice is mid tier, mid tier, not B, but a high C. You know, if I developed practice, then I could actually sing. Sees good degrees. You know it, man. I used to be like a top student up until <laughs> like junior high. Mainly looking back, because like curriculum is super easy in like elementary. It's like 10 plus 2 is 12. But like in junior and high school is when like application. Concepts get a bit more difficult. I wish I took choir in school though. I think that would have been fun. jokingly tell people like what if I become a pop star 
you know? Because it would be like the most unexpected thing. Like the quiet kid becoming famous. It's my favorite bits. Way she really, but be funny. Okay. Oh, the dots are added. Yeah, even though it's a little thing, like I said earlier, it'll help taper off, imply a bit more tapering. Also, a bit more texture, too. Okay. Ooh, almost snapped it close. I'm gonna go ahead and add dots to the white plumes. And then I think that would be it for this piece. I don't really think there's anything I want to add. Yeah, I'll, I'll still think about it, but I'll add the dots still. Okay, so we added all the remaining white dots and the red dots. I think I kind of want to, because the acrylic paint went earlier, I guess it got clumpy, but you can still kind of scratch off some of So these I mean I should use my paper, because sometimes the polish will clip, clip off onto the paper. Just... The only really negative side to me painting my nails now. So when I was working in food, it technically was a lab, but kind of not. Um, because you know when you wash your hands, you're supposed to like scrub and then go in between your hands and then or fingers and then do your nails. When you have nails that are longer, 
than like your fingertip, it's very hard to adequately clean it. So I, I didn't grow my nails and I never painted my nails for the whole time I worked in food. It's <sighs> so like three years. Um, so when I stopped working, first thing I did was paint my nails. <laughs> Cause I missed it so much. Every week when I was in junior high and high school, I'd paint my nails. This was fun. But it'd be like cheap nail polish. So it'd chip off after a day. It's so like I would spend a solid like one to two hours doing nails, making them look cool and artsy. But then it would chip off. So it's like, what the point? But like, I finally got some nice polish. <sighs> so it usually doesn't chip off till the end of the week. So I do my nails once a week now, and it's cool. When I scan, any like divot or rivet on the paper does show up, which I can always edit in post, but it'll make my life easier if I try and get any noticeable lumps of paint off. Okay. There's one more I can chip off. Okay, so I think this piece is done. Epic. Let's go ahead and change the face cam. <laughs> okay. Let's see, so we can get a more wider angle. Oh my god, my face is so pink right now. I'm still getting used to the lights. Okay, cool. We'll be back. Came out like a freaking butte. Thanks, man! Thank you. Ooh, it's way too bright. Okay. That looks a bit better. So here's the final from a bit further away. Love your sex. Yeah, dude. Okay, I got these frames. Had to be about a year ago. They're Ray Bans. They cost me like 175 bucks, but I was like, I'm gonna get the gold ones because aesthetic, right? Love my frames. Um, so just from different angles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I don't hang my pieces up. I like having empty walls. I don't like posters or anything. So I I usually put my like my pieces that are in the book just in a. In a clear sleeve and then in a folder. So I think I like this direction, orientation. That way it does have that implied line Ooh, right here, right? That direction of the piece, everything moving down. Oh, that kind of goes... Hmm, interesting. Because a lot of the circle elements, the, the lowest one is here, right? So, like, this way everything is moving up, up. I think this orientation will look the best. Yeah, so just get more close up of the blooms. I mean, very simple detail, but it kind of makes everything in the center look a bit more lighter, and then everything in the border look a bit darker with the red. So yeah, love how the final came out. Um, I think the dots and the reddish color plumes are the best. Yeah, honestly, dude, I agree. I think adding that darker element added a little bit more contrast, so I agree. It did add a lot, so. E. I, it's, I'm so inclined to look at my monitor, because I don't have... I have a Sony A6400. I got it from school, so it has, like, the little flip lens. No, nope, not lens, but, like, the camera... View, viewfinder. Viewfinder. But I forgot to flip it up, so I'm, I'm keeping looking at my monitor, trying not to maintain eye contact, you know. But yeah, so I'm going to try and 
show my face more. Um, yeah, I think that's. I went a bit longer than I thought I would today. Now at two forty-five, two forty-seven in, but. Yeah, so I think that's all the time I have for today. Gotta get started on homework. But yeah. So, depending... Ooh, white balance is weird. There's a little voice, this video lag. Not sure if you drop frames. Yeah, it's it's the setup. Um, ooh, yeah, it's gonna lag it a bit. Rip. Um, didn't realize because the camera was on your piece all the time. Yeah, it happens. Like, my internet is not the best. Like, I just got a hardwire... But still, like, my laptop is not- the RAM is not as good as it could be, so I apologize if there's any dropped frames. On my end, it says I have a couple slow frames, but nothing dropped yet, so that could be the issue. Like, I'm working on it. What? Once I make my millions, I'll get that $2,000 stream laptop, I promise you. And then that $10,000 camera, I promise you. Okay? Um, yeah, so... It's a lot better than it was last week, though, because I got my hardware set up on Sunday, so... Since Monday, streams have been coming out a little bit better concerning frame rate and dropped. So... Yeah, absolutely no worries. Thank you! Uh, yes. E. So... <laughs> once I get the money, it'll look a bit better. Um... Yeah, because I don't, I don't have a... Uh, hard drive, that's what's called. I don't have one because I don't- I have, like, I have, a, I have an actual desk that I work at because I have a separate desk that I stream at. But... Don't got the money right now. Right, I have money saved, but like, I don't have a job. So I need to uh, save up or get a real job before I can start buying stuff again. But yeah, so I think that'll be all for today. Um, tomorrow... I know I said earlier this week I'm going to be doing custom shirts. I'm still waiting for those to come to mail. So um yeah, so once I get those shirts in, I will definitely start on the shirts. But if not, if they don't come in tonight, then I'll probably just do another There we go. Another abstract type illustration. Yeah. I understand it's really not an issue. I just like letting people know just in case they're not. Yeah. Oh dude. So my first stream was last Monday, so the second. And dummy me, because I watched all these tutorials, all these videos, all these forums about like what to do on your first stream, what to do before your first stream. And the biggest thing I didn't do was test stream. Like I didn't, I have a sock account now, but I didn't test. So my first stream, I was streaming at 1080, 6 PS, 60 FPS, and then, but my upload speed was only like 5. So there was hella lag. It was... It was unwatchable. And dummy me, I did not, like, double-check anything until, like, someone told me in the comments. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so I ended, and then I troubleshooted. I, Because the all, issue was also with our internet, because we pay for 30 upload speed. But even on... Even when, like, our hard wires were plugged in, we were only getting, like, 15s. So we were like, what is this? I am paying an extra 150. What is this? So we called in. And then... I, I'm just streaming at a lower resolution now. Because it's all that my MacBook can handle. But... Yeah, it's it's so weird seeing myself, like, on camera. Like, it's... it's Not, not that I don't like it, but it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, mistakes were made. Uh, one time I shouldn't get with my completely muted the whole time. Oh my god. Yeah, I I get it. It it's hard. Like on my computer screen right now I have um my capture and then the thing, my software. I use Twitch Studio. Oh look at this. Sorry, I can't I can't get over my nails. I, I love them so much. Um I have I use Twitch Studio. I don't use OBS was a bit too complex, so once I get more in the groove, I'll try and learn OBS. And then I have another tab with my stream open, so I can just monitor to see if there's any, like, visible lag. Um, sometimes I'll have, like, the audio playing if I'm watching it on, like, my tablet or my phone. That way I can see if, like, the audio is dropping. But once it's pretty consistent, I'll stop listening, and then I'll... Like, right now I have a tab open. 
and everything looks pretty clear. Like, not a lot of lag. So, like, I usually do, like, a hand test to see if it's showing up okay. Like, everything looks good right now. So. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Here's one more thing. Yeah, that was it. So. Ooh. I was dropping a little bit there. Um. It's also because just my camera's set up. I got a cam link. You know, because Elgato using their brand and stuff, but like, I kept getting a color grade and it was so frustrating because I would try and look at forums, but then I- no one had like, a coherent answer, and then people would get in contact with like, customer service and they were like, oh, it's not us, but like, it probably is like, just a, a bug in the software. So right now, I'm capturing my camera feed through my Elgato game capture card, and it's coming out pretty good, pretty good, so. Because before, with the cam link, I kept on getting a purple green on any blue color or hue. So like, I just didn't draw with blue. I didn't wear blue. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but depending on if I have time, I'll try and troubleshoot and see if I can set up like um, game capture. So I I tested it before, but it was very laggy. So hopefully with a better upload speed, it will work. So maybe this or next week. No, probably next week. It's already Wednesday. Um, the next week I'll probably launch a little, little, little bit of game. Little bit of game. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it here for today. Um, thank you for anyone who did pop in. I'm getting a phone call. It's a freaking scam caller. Dude, I, I hate, I hate. Because, like, I think it's, like, something good. I'm like, oh, no, it's scam. Like, come on. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to end for today. I got to stop talking. But, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow, same time. Same time. 10 a.m. PST. Um, I'm probably gonna stick to that schedule for now. That way I get a little bit of time to chill before I stream, so... Depending, maybe in a week or two I might change to 9 a.m. I don't know yet. Because, like... You gotta match along with everyone else's schedule in the house, right? So I'll probably stick with 10 for now. Like, if I change it, I'll make sure to change the schedule tab on my channel page. Oh yeah, so tomorrow I'm either gonna be doing... Um, custom design t-shirts or just another abstract piece so yeah thank you for tuning in once again thank you Anna or Yana for coming in really enjoyed talking to you um, I'll be around <laughs> so yeah well you have a great day okay, bye